new to War Robots and want to progress fast, right? When you first open the shop, you might feel like wanting everything. There is so much going on. But since you cannot and honestly shouldn't get every robot and weapon at once, you've got to choose where you want to go with your hangar. Eventually, you'll get all the best war robots either by winning them during events or by building them in the workshop. But how to get there? In this video, we will show you how to reach the Diamond League and then set off for your ultimate war robots champion journey. We recommend starting with some reliable classics. They are affordable and will serve you well all the way up to the Expert League. Leo hands down the best frontline robot in lower leagues. The amount of damage it can withstand makes Leo a perfect choice for pressing the enemy back from beacons. Griffin. Lacking in durability, this robot makes up in speed and firepower. Right, Griffin can also jump. Get this robot off the ground, unload a salvo of rockets, land behind cover and retreat for full reload. This tactic rarely fails. Natasha. This robot is very similar to Leo. However, it trades some durability for an extra heavy weapon slot. That makes it a great sniper. You can dish out lots of damage while remaining relatively safe. Gareth. To win in Beacon Rush and Domination, you need to capture beacons. Gareth is great for that, and it is also equipped with a thick shield that can win you a duel or two. Stalker. The main purpose of this robot is to capture beacons. And it serves its purpose well. Stalker can also activate stealth, which will keep it safe from direct fire. Sticking to these five robots, you can have a full balanced hangar, save up lots of resources that you'll need later, and get to Diamond League playing an important role on the battlefield. If you want to go the extra mile, consider getting Lancelot, Cerberus or Ao Huang with gold. Huge physical shield makes Lancelot super reliable for close-range fights, and an amazing alternative to Leo. Although this robot is rather slow and bulky, it can activate jet thrusters for a short time to get into combat quicker. Cerberus is great for messing up enemy plans. Its built-in weapon shots three projectiles, each with its own special effect. One immobilizes the target, another reduces its damage, and the third slowly corrodes the hull. Ao Guang is a flying robot. It can traverse the map quickly and pick targets behind cover. Also, Ao Guang takes less damage when in the air. Great choice to practice some advanced piloting techniques. Now to some tips. Save up gold to open all five hangar slots before spending it on anything else. The more robots you can deploy, the better your battle results will be. Upgrade weapons first and robots next. Firepower is important. And you can always equip another robot with your upgraded weapons if you decide to abandon the old one. Remember, gold robots are usually better than silver robots, but the component robots outplay them both. Eventually, you'll start building robots with components using your workshop. Workshop items may seem out of reach at first, but in fact they aren't that hard to get. Components come from lots of places, apart from workshop there are battle rewards, event chests and clan tasks. At some point you may even realize that you've completed a full item without even noticing. Try different playstyles. You win resources, not only by dealing damage, but also by repairing allies and capturing beacons. Take a moment to look through the honor reward list after a battle. Each of the honor categories brings you silver, so a support robot like Mander may come in handy. If you are still short on silver, consider getting premium. With premium, you will receive a 50% bonus in silver after each battle. And not just that. Finally, remember to keep the weak and the strong points of your hangar in mind. Not every robot is suitable for a head-on attack. Some need to rely on teammates to unlock their potential, and some will only shine above ordinary if you focus on beacon control. Oh, and speaking of teammates, if you are looking for a reliable team, consider finding a clan. Playing in clans yields extra rewards. Also, you can look for a squad on our official Discord or any other social platform. War Robots community is full of committed people that will be happy to assist you in your journey. That's it for now. Off to a good start. That should help you remain competitive even in Diamond League and further down the champion road. Happy hunting, commanders!